Hello, and welcome to the Committee of Gentlemen. Um, as always, you have Skillmatic Wayne. Hey. Uh, we have B Rock. Uh, unfortunately, Loose Jaw Bill um, could not make it tonight prior engagements. So, filling in for Loose Jaw Bill is a longtime friend, uh, the most gentlemanly woman that we know, Brienne uh, the Bulldog Fulton. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm not familiar with uh, that name. Yes, it's from uh, Air Hockey. Yes. Uh, you didn't yes. play. Mm -hmm. uh, so I played one game, didn't I? You played one season. It was second season. <laughs> uh, so, mm -hmm. Brienne Fulton filling in for Loose Jaw Bill tonight. Um, Bill, unfortunately, um, had a few things going on, so couldn't quite make it out. So thanks again to Brian, um, and then of course myself, Eric, uh, the hammer. Anyhow, uh, so on to of course the beginning of Committee of Gentlemen, which is the beer review. Uh, as you will see here, we do not technically have beer. We have uh, the Fall Harvest Woodchuck Hard Cider. Woodchuck. Woodchuck. Um, I woodchuck. Wayne Woodchuck. What well, would you chuck, Wayne? Um, I don't know what I would chuck. It's Hellchuck something. <laughs> so, yeah. so we have the Woodchuck uh, Fall Harvest. Uh, you know, Woodchuck, they do seasonals, all sorts of seasonals, and all sorts of special editions. Um, I have not had, I don't think any of us have had the Fall Harvest. Um, I'm not a big cider guy. Woodchuck's all right. You have so many new ciders on the market. You see commercials on TV for um, cider this, cider that, Johnny Appleseed. Uh, Johnny, fuck your mom. Who knows? They're all out there. <laughs> Woodchuck's been around for a while, so we're down with the Woodchuck. Um, we're going to see how this goes. None of us have had it. It'll probably be sweet, because all Woodchuck is pretty damn sweet. Um, we'll see how it goes. So, let's pass them out. Uh, hard cider. Hard cider. Which, Why is it so hard? Because uh, it has alcohol in it. Thank you. And now, That's not hard. it should be noted that uh, the it's Bulldog, hard. It's, a, it's a Woodchuck. The it's not a. Why would it be a squirrel? It looks like a squirrel. It's called <laughs> woodchuck for God's sakes. Uh, it's a woodchuck. We are all well, yeah, older. Like a squirrel. It, We're all older. It looks like a squirrel. We're dude. older. It's, it's, it's not a squirrel. woodchuck holding an apple for God's sakes. All right, all right. So it should be noted that the bulldog does not really consume alcohol. Um, she is being a good sport. Uh, she is going to take a sip of. Oh, that Let's up. talk about where the bulldog I feel like I'll like this more right? than beer, though. Huh? I think, I think this, this is, is going to be beer. like a apple juice that has alcohol. Right. Essentially. Basically. Um, slight beer flavor. Alcohol for babies. Yeah. <laughs> bulldog came from CFA, right? Bulldog. Yes. Uh, quick backstory on the bulldog. Um, the bulldog nickname came from Central Florida Air Hockey Association. We had uh, we have an air hockey league. Um, and we had to all come up with names to go on the back of her jerseys. And she had the intensity and the ferocity of a bulldog. So, and a uh, mild resemblance. Just something. Thanks. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, so let's uh, pour our drinks. Uh, as you can see, we have, uh, we're in a different location this time, um, partly due to Loose Jaw not being available. Um, but this location has glasses, so mild upgrade. Location downgrade, uh, glass upgrade for sure. What, what did you use? We drank from the bottle. Oh. Okay. Last time. All right. This is classy. All right, so let. You know, if we were let drinking normal beer, she would have like had a lot of foam coat. A lot of foam. Yeah. She's like cider does not pour the same, obviously. <laughs> uh, let's sniff and sip and enjoy our beers or our ciders in this case. Fall harvest. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you, the viewer. Thank you for watching. Fuck you. Yeah. Stay classy. Stay classy. Clearly we're classy. Yeah. Not as bad as beer. Alright, that's a yeah. start. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get another sip in there? or is That, I, that was my second. I'll do one more. Though. Do one more. Let's okay. get one more. Wow. Wow. It's wow, 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 wow. Alright, so, <coughs> do we need another sip or we, do you know how you feel about it? Uh, one more sip. One more sip, there we go. Except for the bulldog. The bull, oh, unless okay. you're ever, um, bulldog, oh, bulldog yes. going, 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 going hand. Balls deep. I might oh, get drunk from this. 
ladies and gentlemen, we are already going balls deep in this episode. Balls uh, deep. To go into balls deep, right? To go into balls deep. Keep going balls deep. Balls deep. Balls deep. Balls deep. Balls deep. <laughs> yep. Uh, as you can see, I'm almost done my woodchuck already. So, we'll move on to uh, woodchuck review. Uh, we'll start with Grant. Alright, so it's a thumb scale. Okay. Down, middle, up. Uh, tell us what you think, any noticeable characteristics you want to talk about, or anything you want to comment on. Uh, it does taste very tart to me. Mm -hmm. um, for. Since it's not a beer, I actually like it. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs and up. she doesn't even drink. So. That's true. From now on. I, I'll have you know I had five sips. Five. Yeah. I, and five we, big girl we, sips or what kind of sips? She yeah, I mean, drank the majority yeah. of that glass. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, a small glass, but it's. Yeah. Um, it's a five ounce glass. Oh. So you're doing pretty well. Um, That's a big glass for me. Especially because we've seen her take a single sip of something and she was done. Yeah. Um, we've also seen her consume. <laughs> About a third of a smearing off ice and been like, oh, I'm feeling it, guys. That's true. So she could be drunk by the end of this episode. Who knows? It's Possibly. Likely, yes. Yeah. Brian, B Rock. Mm. Uh, I, believe, I believe we said earlier that's uh, apple juice with alcohol in it. Brian is notoriously not a fan of cider. No, so. I do not like ciders at all. Brian, tell us your feeling on it. Uh, basically, if someone took a glass of apple juice and Pour some alcohol in there. It's what we have right now, I think. Do you catch any of the fall harvest in it, Brian? Uh, no. No. No fall harvest. So, in your thumbs up, uh, thumbs <coughs> in the middle, thumbs down scale. I would give it a thumbs down. But Brian. Brian. Uh, so Brian, right. <laughs> Brian does not care for the same. All right. Skillmatic Wayne. You know what? <laughs> Easy. This fall harvest is uh, it's pretty goddamn good, I tell you. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm going to have to give this two ratings based upon uh, what I'm about to say here. It tastes pretty goddamn good. So, that's thumbs up there. But as far as alcohol content, fuck this shit. It ain't good. It's, it's not enough in there. It's a five percent. Yeah, I know. It's like a which it's, is it's a baby cock. Is that like a beer? Uh, yeah, no. It's higher than a Bud Light. It's higher than uh, Newcastle, which is like a real Dude, beer. Anybody can drink this. Is like what you drink yeah. on New Year's. Like this is like sure. champagne. It's also champagne gluten free. Stronger, which it is I gluten think free. Gluten free. Gluten free. Yeah. It is yeah. Gluten -free, yeah. So Whoa. naturally. What is gluten exactly? exactly? Um, it also says just like pump apple pie and. Uh, no. I've uh, all right. So, it does so, have. So, a can we get the thumb scale? So, thumb scale for the taste is really good, and the actual alcohol content is like this, so we're giving it in the middle. In the middle? In the middle. Alright, in the middle. <coughs> Alright, um, and the I, I feel like I'm a seasoned uh, woodchuck veteran, been around the block a few times. Uh, this... Feel like he likes it? Uh, oh. Yeah. This is not as sweet as I expected, which is good because like the Granny Smith woodchuck and a few of them are too sweet. You can't actually drink them. Um, this is a fine, this is a fine drink. I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat. Um, smooth. I know Brian uh, B Rock, um, B Rock Sucker Cock. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> he said that he could not taste the fall or the harvest. Totally has spices. Um, you can absolutely taste, you know, the the nutmeg. You know, well, nutmeg. How does that nutmeg. Does one taste nutmeg. fall harvest? Nutmeg, you said nut. cinnamon. Um, you know those fall flavors. You know, absolutely, hundred percent in there. Um, it's sweet. It's definitely sweet. Not crazy sweet. It's good. Um, big thumbs up. For Is it sure. a five crazy? Uh, <laughs> it's like a. It's like a two or three crazy, <laughs> so it could potentially be a tranny. Uh, yeah, so, all right. So now that we've covered the thumbs up, we had a thumbs up, a thumbs down, a middle, and a thumbs up. And so, a tranny. And a tranny. Uh, <laughs> so finally, let's hit the A, Z, a to Z scale. Rainy Bring scale. Bring A to Z. How's this? How's this uh, cider rate? Can I have um, the rest? Can I, do you, yeah, you, you, yes. you have a splash more? And you should, throughout the episode, try to finish it. I'll, through the episode, I'll finish Through the episode, yeah. Um, 
Still confused about the A to Z. Not sure if A is best or Z is best. How does that work again, Eric? Uh, we have no definite answer on the uh, A to Z scale that Randy came up with. Um, Randy, Wrecking Ball Randy. Yeah. Uh, it's A to Z, however, you, however you prefer. Okay, I guess I'll go Z being best. So with this, I'm going to give it like a W. Ooh. Wow. Oh, it's pretty, it's is, pretty good. That's like. I'll even take another sip now. Wow. Holy cow. Which I'll take cap. Yeah, mm -hmm. taking a sip to the take, take a sip. to the big dub. To big dub. dub. Ooh. Ooh. Brian, A to Z, however you please. <sighs> give it a give it a K. A K. In which way kind are we of, going here? He doesn't even have to explain it. Oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah. All right. yeah, it's a K. It's ladies just a K. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian writes a K. Wayne Martin. This is um. I'm gonna call this a. Uh, F for fruity. F for fruity. Oh, wow. And I'm going to say an E for Eric. Bam, there it yes. is. Ladies and gentlemen. E for Eric. E for Eric. Yes. Yeah. The Woodchuck Fall Harvest, uh, available at your local uh, liquor store, currently, possibly a grocery store. That's where I found this. So take a look out for it. It's pretty good. So, all right. So we have refilled, well, partially refilled Brian's here. He doesn't, he doesn't care for the Woodchuck. Uh, so we'll go easy on him. He does still need alcohol. Um, Brian lives on alcohol, so mm -hmm. very important. Every day. Boom. Yeah. Boom. All right. So moving on, ladies and gentlemen, uh, viewer, we are doing uh, the first ever product review on the committee of gentlemen, and um, we uh, have a device that is supposed to save. Your partially consumed banana. Yes. Banana. banana. The banana saver, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't know the actual name of it, but it was in a box of various. Uh, in case you had like two bites left. Yeah, a box of various shit that we acquired somehow. Um, so I don't get. Can you explain how it saves your banana? I don't. Sure. How so, it saves your banana? Yeah. It's a clip. It's a right, mm -hmm. spring powered clip. Um, now, if you can see, you have this flat surface sure. mm -hmm. here, somewhat inside of it, that the you, you cut your banana flush with this. So your you, banana. Yeah, your banana is going to go against it. The outside has a couple of little teeth that are going to grip said banana, and it's going to supposedly keep your banana fresh. Mm -hmm. Now, yesterday morning, so a little over 24 hours ago. I actually used and clipped a banana with this thing for the first time in my life. Your own banana or someone else's banana? Someone, it was my own banana. Okay. <laughs> it was a mutual banana, technically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So, clipped the banana, and the plan was to show the results on the show with the banana. The banana was too gross, the banana had to be thrown away. So, Not that saving is a resounding fail mm -hmm. for the banana clip. Uh, hey, you don't eat your banana, the last two inches of your banana, throw it out because this is The gonna, last two inches? Unless you want to save it for like a half hour. In that case, you don't need a clip either. And who actually thought to make this? Yeah. I, don't know, like, I don't want to finish my banana. I wish I had some sort of device to save this banana. Exactly. Like, you know, bananas, they're just, you can't consume one in one sitting. You must preserve the banana, and this is the perfect way. It's not, it's fucking awful. It doesn't that's work not out. like half a banana. No. Uh, the amount of banana that we legitimately saved was like two and a half, maybe three inches of banana. Is it naked banana or with the peel over? With the peel. Uh. Yeah, so it's made so, to look like the banana, um, uh. which it doesn't. <laughs> but, I mean, so who has. I'm a loss for ours for this product. He would use it for that. Can we do so, that again? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, that was mildly painful. So, the banana clip, fuck it, it's a waste. Uh, the COG plus Brienne, we have determined we will come up with alternate uses of the banana clip. 
And the first thing I notice is the striking resemblance to a, a dolphin's head. So I'm saying you can use this as a cake decoration. Like you put it on the cake, like paint it, spray paint, like, you know, color or whatever they do to fucking color cakes. I don't know. I'm sure they spray paint it. Well, it's not paint. Things it's, when you edible, yeah. It's edible paint or food coloring or whatever they use. And this is a, a dolphin. That's my alternate use is a cake decoration. What, a yellow mechanical dolphin? No, it's, it's gonna painted. be painted, yeah. man. Yeah. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> mechanical still? You're not gonna know anything about the mechanics. You don't clip it. Alright, so I think what this was used for to that mechanical thing. So, listen to that sound. So, I think they probably made this probably about in the 1800s. And, um, <laughs> Long time ago, before there was internet in, in, uh, invented, I think that women measured how far this goes into their mouth. <laughs> and uh, sounds plausible. If the guy was too <laughs> long, they <laughs> cut it off at the end of it. <laughs> with those teeth, he was talking about, and you just cut the peen. And it's like mm -hmm. to the right size so that it fits in her mouth. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there's actual like teeth on the very bottom of this. True story. And uh, I think that's how circumcision was invented. <laughs> so we're going to talk about You use uh, this thing, you flipped it on, and you're like, whoop. And, that was <laughs> the and then the foreskin. And the, the foreskin. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't this horrible? The foreskin goes on the banana like Andrew Zimmerman. He went over and, to Africa. Where'd he go? Yeah, somewhere He went over to Africa. Then the grandpa has to put the foreskin on the banana and then eat yeah. it. The motherfucker <laughs> eats it. <laughs> He thought it was going to eat it, so he got past it. He was like, oh crap, it's coming yeah, to me. Yeah, he's oh, like, crap. I'm not going to eat kids' foreskin. And thankfully, the grandfathers uh, cut it in half, and the two grandfathers ate in the foreskin of their grandchild. And that's how Ebola gets And created. good news, that grandfather, or that grandchild is a man now, technically. <laughs> From the 1800s? Right. No, that's modern day. <clears throat> oh, okay. Just historical facts, or misfacts. To cutting foreskin. Ooh, yeah, circumcision. Circumcision, circumcision foreskin. I don't yeah. think that's covered in insurance anymore. I feel like I've heard that. No, my. <laughs> 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 Some sort of sex toy. Ooh, sex toy. Sex, so, sex toy. If you just don't want to go yet, put this on, keep on going. Ooh, yeah. No matter how much, it will stop. Wait, yeah. Brian, there's teeth on there. What do you mean put that on? No, you put some like, rubber in there. It's, mm -hmm. it's gripping your thing when it's hard on. Yeah, well, but you're not. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it is. That's not great. Well, that's, that's for like, the. Imagine that's a blowjob. The, but that, the thing is, you don't want to blow blow too early. Right. So he's saying that the pain that that thing is going to cause is going to prevent that from happening. Well, let me say this. That beer cap that you have in your hand, if you had that grasp around your chicken cock... I don't know hurt. what a chicken cock is exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I mean, like, uh, I'm guessing a cock of a chicken, which is... Uh, yeah. which, I don't know. Yeah, they, yeah. Well, yeah. think about it. Here's it. Look, you got teeth on the bottom. Yeah. The thing is wrapped around there, so... Isn't that going to make you, like, shrivel up? It's like, ow, that hurts. It's like a blowjob with teeth hey, man. around you. Like, I don't it's serious that. enough, you're going to stay with it. <laughs> okay. I think Brian so, loves it. That's his it's fetish. sex toy for Brian. Sex toy. So, uh, you're right. Line in there. Size Ooh. adjustment. You're just like, I would use it. Yep. What would, you call, hmm? what would, what you, would call you call that? What would you call it? <laughs> it's gotta be like the tip of the dick or something. Like <laughs> tip of the berg. Tip of the berg. Tip oh, of the berg. Yeah. Nice. There you go, strong. <laughs> what do we call it? Uh, a mambana. Right. Mambana, like a banana, but a mambana. I was thinking, you know how like women wear ridiculous rings. Yeah. Like, you know, like just ridiculous. So it's a it, fashion accessory. Yes, a fashion yeah. accessory. Yeah, you just kind of. So would the point be p facing down like that or facing up? Um, I think what's cool is that it could be versatile. Ooh. Yeah. So I mean, essentially, you know, you want to just. You could even extend the bird. 
Oh, middle finger, you're right. Let's... Middle finger extension. You don't even need to truly give it, then, yeah. Are you yeah. Really yeah. extra middle That's finger? That's offended. Right. That's offensive right there. Someone's going to be driving and see that and be like, damn, I got like one and a half middle fingers. Got <laughs> that banana clip finger. Oh, the banana clip finger. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess if you have so, yes, um, the banana finger. You could even go with the dolphin thing and have a nice dolphin ring. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah, you're yeah, really yeah, into yeah, dolphins. Yeah, yeah. So. Accessorize, that's what I always say. To so dolphins. Yeah. Hey, here we go. To dolphins. That's My favorite um, sea mammal by far. <laughs> what would you call it? Flipper? Well, I mean, that's the common dolphin name. But get it. The you can call it. Get it. The flipper. Oh, but you're flipping the bird. Yeah. yeah. Flipper. The flipper. Yeah. There it is. Ladies Good and gentlemen, the flipper. <laughs> to the flipper. Uh, we, as you can see, we crushed. Ah, uh, boom. <laughs> Thank you.